So recently we had uh, pictures and details over the new Thor Love and Thunder, uh, you know, details and stuff. Uh, we had a poster release and obviously new action figures, you know, the Hasbros and the, the Marvel uh, Legends. And there was a Gore, uh, the God Butcher figure that got released in, in a figure set and it does have the Necro Sword and I'll be explaining what that is today and obviously in those posters we also see him and he does look very awesome. I think he looks really cool in the MCU and we also got a glimpse at, you know, Star-Lord, Groot and some other characters obviously from the Guardians that are obviously going to be in this film. But yeah, today I'm going to be explaining some of the history of the Necro Sword and how Gore, the God Butcher, actually got it in the comics. So if you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe and yeah, let's get into it. So... The Necro Swords were obsidian, obsidian swords used by Hela during Asgard's era of expansion throughout the Nine Realms. However, Odin, he Hela's father and king of Ag Asgard, ultimately imprisoned her, his daughter in Hell to quash her expansion expansionary ambitions, which she had begun to see as a threat to order within the realms. Hela managed to one escape attempt during her imprisonment, forcing Odin to send the Valkyries to s subdue her. Hela proved no match for the elite warrior force, however, summoning a barrage of necroswords to kill all, but one of her, obviously one of one of them who survived, which was Valkyrie, and uh, Hela does use the necroswords in uh, Thor Ragnarok, and uh, yeah, I think they're very cool, I think their backstory is uh, very cool with the Asgardians, and also with the symbiotes, which I'll explain in a minute on how Gore got the, um, got the, the, Necro sword and the necro necro swords are powerful enough to kill most beings without any issue, slicing cl clean through elite Asgardians such as the Warriors Three. More durable beings such as Thor are capable of re resisting the necro swords, but they are still capable of harming him and piercing his flesh. So yeah, the the necro swords are quite they're very powerful and strong, and uh, Gore in the comics he actually gets it from. You know, he was going out to fight, find gods. He was alone. His family had died, and he'd given up. He went to go out and find gods, which he didn't believe in, because obviously they didn't help his family. And he came across Null, who is the leader of the symbiotes, and a, a god in gold and black, a gold armor. And obviously, they both they're both in a fight, and they both beg for help, or one of them begs for help. And obviously, Null is dead, and he has the necro sword, which is actually originally. Uh, kind of a symbiote uh, sword it does have originate from the symbiotes which i think would be very cool if they explain that in this film and also give us you know the symbiotes we all want to see null in the mcu like i said in the previous video so i think this would be a perfect way to introduce him on how gore actually got a necro sword and how obviously he he killed you know his first gods which he does he gets a necro sword and kills the gold plated armor um god and and yeah, I think it's a very cool story, and I think obviously I think they're going to base it off that. Uh, I hope they do because, you know, it'd be very cool. Uh, Null obviously being in this film, uh, if he dies, and that's how he gets a necro sword. That's how Gore gets a necro sword to kill all all the other gods that obviously he sets out as a mission. Um, and yeah, I think the necro swords are very cool. You know, they they were obsidian swords generated and handled by the Asgardian goddess of death, Hela. Powered with the, the necro energy that she transforms from the power she draws from Asgard, which you know that explains in the comics and does explain in Ragnarok. And uh, I hope we do get to see um, a lot more of the necro sword in this film. I think it'll be very cool to uh, see. But yeah, tell me what you guys think about the necro sword and obviously how Gore is going to get it. I think he will get it in this way. Um, and yeah, you know, the necro sword can enhance its host powers to godlike levels as well as extend the host's lifespan indefinitely, which you know. In the comics, Venom and Carnage uh, do use the Necro Swords, and but they don't compare to All Black by the end of the day. Obviously, they um, obviously with the symbiotes, the God of the Symbiotes, that's how that that works and where it actually did come from. Um, they are made of obsidian, so they are very powerful, and arguably obsidian is one of the most powerful, um, you know, materials in the MCU, along with you know vibranium and you know dark elf magic, you know dark elf dark elf um materials i think they are all very strong and you know the necro sword is really powerful and i think we're gonna see how strong it is in this film because you know gore without the necro sword is not very powerful you know like i just explained with the necro sword it gives you godlike powers enhanced powers and enhanced health you know like i just said it can uh, extend the lifespan and obviously gore is not very strong well in the comics he is and i'm guessing that's what's going to make him powerful in this film is the necro sword and without the all black necro sword uh, gore doesn't stand a chance but when he has the necro sword his strength allows him to lift in excess of 100 tons and rivals if not surpasses that of thor so i think that just explains how strong gore is going to be in this film 
and yeah, it's going to prove how strong it is. So, uh, tell me what you guys think of this video, tell me what you think of the Necro Sword, and how strong Gore is going to be in this film, and how of a deadly villain he will be in this film. I hope you enjoyed the video, hope you had a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.